Hey everyone, in this video I will ask a question that Murata Scan uh, posed in his repo. He has several tests in his data session login spec, right? We're gonna use one test, but we're just gonna rerun it. And he wants to log in instantly after the first run. He already has written a setup function that uses programmatic login into AWS Cognito. And that works. I can see if I open the spec file and running the test, that the first time we have to create the data session, right, first time, then everything is set. And when we go to the home page, then we are logged in. Great. Unfortunately, when we rerun the test, we're not logged in, even though it thinks that we are logged in. Okay, so let's look at the code to figure out the problem. What is this validate? It gets the local storage and when it uses should. So this is not a predicate function because it doesn't return a boolean, right? Should callback returns nothing. And also it's not a simple function that takes the value stored in memory for data session and then um, validating using assertions. So it's neither nor, it's not a valid uh, valid date callback. So let's fix this. And the way I'm going to fix it, I'm going to change the things. I'm not going to use local storage because local storage in this case is incorrect because it clears the memory and it doesn't use the node process to store the snapshots. So instead, we're going to do the following. Once you visit the home, right? Once you are on the page where you logged in, you want to store the local storage object because that's what contains everything so after you are successfully logged in you will say okay i want to preserve let's say local storage but you want to serialize this so you can say cypress low dash clone and take local storage okay and if you have a local storage, then you just say, great. Um, you can check if it has specific key or not, doesn't matter. Okay, so the next test when it runs, it will have a local storage object. Okay, whatever you cloned right here. So all you need to do before you visit the home page, you wanna take every key in this local storage copy and you want to say local storage key is whatever value okay so let's see how this works okay right now it still sees the old session probably let's rerun the test okay well this is invalid you know why because cypress data session caches whatever you had before so in this case it probably cached result of site visit let us remove the all data session. So we're gonna clear all data sessions, right? Just to remove everything from memory, right? So we cleared our login. And then if we run, it's gonna be the first time the data session has to be created after it successfully visits home page. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see if we I don't think we can see what's cached in memory. Uh, maybe we can use one of the static commands. Cypress, that maybe get data session. And it's whatever this was. That's the name, the email. Let's see what we have in memory. Mm -hmm. That's not right. Uh, let's see if Lodash can actually clone local storage. Ah, local storage. So it doesn't actually clone anything. So what we can do is do the following. JSON parse, JSON stringify. I think that should work. So, okay. Let me just try it. Parse, JSON stringify local. So we, I just need a copy of local. Okay, this works. Perfect. So let's clear the data 
sessions again, rerun this, and it should copy the local storage after it sets all the local storage for login correctly. Okay, perfect. Let's confirm that we copied it. Okay. And now let's see if we rerun if those things are restored from Cypress data session in memory back to local storage and then we visit home and we should be logged in. Okay. Notice it says still valid, recreating by setting it and then we are instantly logged in. So this is how we can fix how we call Cypress data session. We have to make sure that the setup yields the object we want to restore when we recreate uh, our environment before visiting the page and when we're instantly logged in.